Hello, another episode of Dear Pharmacy Student. So I got a message from Duharusen080. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyways, I am currently in ninth grade and I was planning to become a pharmacist someday. I was thinking you might have experience because you're in pharmacy school and I just wanted to know what courses did you take in high school? I took French and history applied. Do you think they will affect my future? But anything else, Everything else, I took academic. Thanks. By the way, great videos. Hey, thank you for messaging me. You know, uh, I appreciate that. So to answer your question, what classes I took in high school and would that matter to get into pharmacy school? Not really. Your choices of classes in high school doesn't really matter too much in um, your chances of getting into pharmacy school. But basically, if you really, if you really do know what type of pharmacy you're gonna get yourself into, maybe your school offers something that will help you in that. For example, um, you know, there's a lot of specialty pharmacies like I talked about in previous videos, like oncology, um, um, informatics, um, business, and all those things. But you know, I remember in high school there wasn't that many choices you can really choose from. But depending on where you go. For example, if, if you plan to own your own pharmacy in the future, then you want to take business related classes in high school just to give you some background and start building your skills uh, in communication, resume writing, technical writing, um, interviewing skills, you know, basic leadership skills and, and things that I did in high school was, uh, well we had something called the Academy of Finance and it basically structured around business. Uh, I was in um, a club called FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, and I, as a senior, I even became the president of our school's chapter, you know, and it taught me a lot about leadership and time management, you know, all the skills that you need to become successful in your career and life. And so I highly recommend you get yourself into extracurriculars of that sort. Now, for pharmacy school, you they will base your GPA and coursework on your undergraduate uh, classes and, and what you do as an undergrad. Not so much in high school, but I'm kind of contradicting myself because earlier I talked about how there's these advantage programs or accelerated programs. That Those programs will base uh, everything on your high school GPAs, but I don't think it'll count too much on the coursework but more so on what your out overall GPA is when you graduate. So yeah, I think you need really high GPA to get into those accelerated programs. So that's something to know. Because I'll talk more about the specialties of different types of pharmacy so that you can have more of an understanding of what there is out there. Instead of um, focusing so much on what classes you take in high school and stuff, I'd focus on just outright GPA and then also doing extracurriculars if you you know you think you can handle it you can time manage and it does not affect your grades so basically what I did in high school was I, I just started out as a basic front desk person volunteer at a hospital and I just helped people who came in and had questions you know uh, delivering flowers or they're looking for their family member that's in the hospital or they're looking for a specific unit you know wherever I just directed them or walked them there discharged patients you know helped them to their car very basic easy thing uh, and then you know a lot of hospitals also offer you to volunteer in their pharmacy as well so you gotta go around and ask uh, volunteer programs if they allow you to become a volunteer in the pharmacy so that's a good way to get yourself into that area and be exposed to pharmacy. So uh, at first, you know, it's going to be hard. You have to know a lot of people, different people, and network yourself to even get a chance to shadow a pharmacist because they just, you know, they just can't take someone off the street. You know, it's a big liability bringing someone into a pharmacy with, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of drugs. Uh, and, and they just can't take someone off the street like that so I highly recommend you try to do that while you're in high school and, and try to do something that allows you to be distinguished from other candidates 
So I hope this helps answer your question. Uh, you know, thank you for asking and ask more questions and I'll make more videos. And thanks for watching. And remember, eat your vegetable. In future videos.